Is Vermont doing enough to prevent child abuse and neglect? New data shows an increase in reports of child abuse, but do the numbers tell the whole story? Our Calvin Cutler is at the Department for Children and Families Central Offices. Calvin, what can we learn from this new report? Yeah, good evening, Kiana and Kat. Despite numbers uh, of child abuse reports going back up after a pandemic era dip, experts tell me that they're encouraged by progress that they're seeing. According to state data, there were more than 20,000 reports to the Child Protection Hotline last year. That's an increase of over 450 from 2022. Overall, reports are returning to pre-pandemic levels after mandatory reporters like teachers didn't see children during COVID lockdowns. But 2023 data shows fewer investigations, assessments, and interventions taken by the state as a result of the reporting. It's a mixed bag and sorting it out and making things work for families is really the highest priority because children don't get a chance at a second childhood. Linda Johnson with Prevent Child Abuse Vermont says the data shows efforts to prevent child abuse and neglect are working. But she adds child abuse stems from issues at home, like mental health, substance use, poverty, and more. About 80% of the people we see in our family support programs of addiction to opioids primarily and then alcohol. We're not seeing people in our family support programs who just want to be better parents, but nothing terrible has occurred. We're seeing people after terrible things have occurred, and that is almost exclusively. She also says staffing challenges and a shortage of foster parents could mean a smaller capacity for officials to get involved. The Department for Children and Families wasn't available to comment on the data. But in the report, Commissioner Chris Winters and Deputy Commissioner Erica Radke write the state is working to increase staffing, as well as residential options and prevention. Adding, we are working hard to create a workplace worthy of our staff and support and services worthy of the children and youth in DCF care and custody. At the same time, the state is also working on what they call the family first model, money to fuel DCF partnerships and work groups to keep kids from entering DCF custody. And the state of Vermont also in the early stages of creating what they're calling the Green Mountain Youth Campus, which is a 14-bed treatment facility for young people in Virgins. Reporting live in Waterbury, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.